Journey Church, I can't believe it's the end of September already. So I hope you've been leaning into these daily reflections throughout the month and really seeing the Lord do some things. So with that in mind, this last week, I wanted us to look at how we serve. We're going to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. It says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. So I hope you have really been tasting and seeing what the Lord's doing and whether it's just recently or throughout your life story, have testimony of what the Lord has done, where he is bringing comfort and peace and rest and healing in your life. That we would see then the purpose in that, in how we serve. This verse makes it really clear, first and foremost, that we're comforted so that we can comfort. So you can't give something you haven't received. And I think a lot of times we try to give out of deficits um, or even serve in ways that we don't feel passionate about. And I think it's really beautiful for us to, to realize and take a record of where we've seen the Lord bring us comfort where we can genuinely and authentically speak to how he's moved in our own lives. But then secondly, that that comfort isn't really just for us, that our healing and the good and the comfort that the Lord brings to us has a secondary purpose where we're meant to pay it forward, that our healing and redemption actually isn't made complete unless we share it with others struggling in those same areas. So I just think it's so beautiful that the Lord builds in purpose in our hearts and our lives in the ways he comforts us so that we are, are fueled and passionate to speak to anyone else struggling in that same area that's walked through the same hardship, that's grieved the same grief, that has wrestled with the same things. And so my challenge to you this week is to think through where that is in your life. Where have you seen and tasted comfort and healing from the Lord? And what would it look like for you to allow him to use that in how you serve and care for and love others around you struggling with or dealing with those similar things? Let's pray. Jesus, we just thank you that you are the God of all comfort, that you comfort us in all of our afflictions. And Lord, I pray that you would stir some new vision and some new direction in each of our hearts and lives as to what you want to do with that as we hold the comfort you've given us with open hands before you to use to comfort others. Would you direct us in how we can vulnerably and authentically and even in process wear that on our sleeve as we share our lives with others around us and speak to the comfort that you have brought us that only you can bring. Will you use us to be vessels that bring your comfort to others? Would you spur us to, to serve in new ways that are full of power and meaning and life and even bring our own healing and wholeness to completion as we give of ourselves and let you use us to bring your comfort to others? In your name, amen. Mm -hmm.